Okay, so today I just wanted to show my Atari Jaguar kiosk in greater detail. I'm not gonna say too much in this video, it's mainly just to get some, I don't know, some more documentation out there. There's just not much information about this kiosk and, you know, I figured people wanna see it. So I'm just gonna kinda show everything up close and if I feel like I need to say anything, then <laughs> I will, but. Yeah, so this is the Jaguar kiosk. I got this in a large lot of video game stuff for probably, yeah, it's been about a year, a year I've had it, and I love it. It's definitely one of the coolest things in my collection, so I just kind of wanted to show it. So, yeah. So. It's got just like a standard controller built on. You just slide this out you can access the system. It's just a normal system. Shut the system off for a second so you can kind of hear what I'm saying. Um, so this particular system has nothing special about it, but I'm assuming there is a Jaguar kiosk console, but this one isn't. It's just a normal Jaguar and the cable gets routed down there and then eventually leads to here. Um, you can lock this right here. And I have the key um, down there, but you can also open this up, which I will show inside of there. I'm not gonna be able to pull this out today. It's just a little too annoying, but I just wanted to show details. So here's the little inserts, which could be switched out by the store depending on what they were kind of advertising at the time i'll go slow and just kind of look at it game advertisements there. I believe these were all launch titles, so this is probably the overlay that came with this particular kiosk, I'm assuming. There's the decal. There's one of those on both sides. It's hard to see because I have other arcade cabinets near it. And then the base has this metal, I don't know, plate at the bottom, which makes it just more stable. This thing feels solid on the ground, like it does not move at all. And the screen is, I'll turn it on for a minute so you can see, it's official Atari monitor running through RGB, so it's super crisp. You can't really tell in the video, but yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Looks fantastic. So, let's see. Yeah, there's still the controllers just mounted with like a metal plate on the back. I'm sure if anything ever went wrong with this, you could easily switch it out. And obviously it works as well. But, um, I just look at that screen. It's supposed to be wavy like that in the background, but just look at those letters, man. Those are, those are crisp for sure. And here's the top part. I have no cracks on my shell, which is nice. Just kind of side part. Oops. So it looks like from the side. Kind of in very interesting look, but it, it's definitely cool. So. So I'll open up this bottom and show you what's in there. Nothing too exciting, but I figured I'll show it anyway. Okay, so here's the inside. Let's put this bottom plate. So in here, um, there is some stuff in here that I store in here, but otherwise it's just a blank empty box. But here's the stand for the monitor. That's pretty cool that it's in here. And then this is a reprint but it, it is the manual how to assemble it. Cause I did get this in pieces. So 
like the monitor, you know. So pretty cool to have, even though it's a reprint. And then this is a light, which I don't see how this could fit in here, but it was in the bottom of the cabinet. I got it. So. so we got a spare controller, and there doesn't seem to be anything special about it. I mean, it just seems like the previous owner, if they wanted to do multiplayer, they just put it in here. Spare nuts and bolts. That's always reassuring. Um, yeah, yeah, those are. Good. And then this is a real something, I believe. I, this, I don't know if this is for the kiosk. I've honestly never taken this out of here, so let's take it out right now. This seems like it's not reprinted. Does this have any... Anything about the... This is pretty cool, though. Here's all the specs. This actually may have been for retailers comparing to the other systems at the time. So pretty cool. Yeah, so um, I'm also going to show my Jaguar games in this video because I forgot to show them in the Atari collection video. So I'm going to put this panel on and show my games. Okay, so here are my boxed Jaguar, well, all my Jaguar games, so I'll just go down the list here. Lots of good ones here. I have plastic protectors on pretty much all of them. All of these are sealed on the shelf, so that's, that's really cool. And then we got some Jaguar CD stuff. Dragon's Lair, pretty cool. New controller in the box, a few team tabs. I'm gonna go through my loose carts in a minute. A few big box, Jaguar CD. And then these are all empty boxes that are like brand new looking, um, but they are real. We got Towers too, that's a really good one. Alien vs Predator. Obviously I have Tempest in the kiosk, Club Drive. Cannon Fodder. These you can read. I am going for a complete set without ordering anything on eBay. It's definitely, definitely hard to find these. <laughs> Whenever I find my game store, it's just all the other ones I already have. So, good old Cybermore. Cybermorph again. There's a few different like different label variations there and another Cybermorph, but yeah. So I also have some manuals here. I'll show those as well, I guess. Just a couple manuals. Nothing that special. Alien vs. Predator probably being the best one there. Okay, so if you like this video, like it and subscribe for more content. Probably not exactly like this, but some related to this. All right, and I'll see you next time.